what I have been fearing for the last four weeks has just occurred. This is southern rust, and it's above the ear leaf. So it's progressed. To the top of the canopy so I don't know how long it's going to take for it to take the infection from this leaf to the top of the plant but I will tell you last year my experience was that once it got uh, to this level if we didn't have an application and guys yes possibly a second application of fungicide if you sprayed two weeks ago um, and you've got this kind of infection You've got to spray again. The labels say every 14 days in high disease environments, and we are in a high disease environment. We've got very active pustules, and I think this is the farthest up the plant that I've seen it. I'd say three weeks from now, these leaves will all be crispy. We'll be in the middle part of August, and we're going to have dead plants out here, unless, unless we treat them. Because we're not in the lower, we're not in just the lower levels. Um, obviously, take a look at that one. You can see this one. You can see where uh, the early leaf is. I mean, and this is in every plant. I'd say this is a, a threshold level when it's every when it's every plant and it's up to the ear leaf or above. And we have more rain coming. Maybe up to a couple inches uh, tonight. So one last push. Very active spores there. Guys, don't leave this kind of yield potential left unprotected because I hate to gaslight but this could be a hundred bushel decision you make times four dollars a bushel four hundred dollars an acre times a thousand acres you put the numbers to it can you afford to not protect this corn damn Yorkland Lannis technical agronomist signing off